What is the history of truth and the history of nihilism? My name is Rodrigo Gim. I'm an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. Nietzsche was the first philosopher to forcefully show that truth is historical, that the will to truth is historical, and Foucault the first philosopher to show that the will to truth can be shown to depend on epochal shifts. Every epoch has its dominant will to truth. In the history of Western thought, the foundation of truth went from God to man with a capital M, man as a universal being keeping a characteristic of God, to the interiority of a subject itself as a ground, as a foundation of truth. The history of the dominant ways of thinking and living in the West is the history of metaphysics. It includes critique, but metaphysical critique is a critical examination of truth toward a higher truth. Metaphysics is able to produce foundational claims itself, which it then destabilizes to put in place new foundational claims. This continuous process of dismantling truths in search of more truthful truths Nietzsche called the history of nihilism. The truths produced by metaphysics, of course, are, are idealistic truths, ascetic truths, which wish to correct the world to the extent that it cannot be corrected, even wish for another world altogether. Metaphysics is also cultural practice, when the search for more truthful truths is a search for the maximization of ourselves as resources, or the maximization of nature as a resource, to guarantee mastery and control domination over existence. Metaphysics in practice is the domination of the world by the supposedly savior truths of that world, by another altered, perfectionable world. Metaphysics aims to arrive at certainty beyond any becoming. It wants the essences to win over appearances, but for that it creates one essence after another without stop, and thus creates its own game of appearances that, according to Nietzsche, may one day make the game clear to us. A day when the truth itself becomes a primary issue, as he said at the end of the genealogy of morals. Nietzsche showed how truths are continually overcome until the will to truth itself is made available to be thought. This process he called the history of Western nihilism. For Foucault, truth is constituted through historical accidents and dominations, cultural practices, and through configurations of knowledge, and the effects of truth are multiple in their circulation. For both Nietzsche and Foucault, there is no stable answer to the value of truth. This is very different from the dominant metaphysical thought that circulates, for which alignment with first principles, with true norms and true facts, is what makes for a true being in dominant culture. Nowadays, the privatized subject is the new true being, the dominant way of understanding being, where the shared world evaporates as a side of practice. The existing order and the constitution of subjectivity is unthought of in the dominant order. In the dominant metaphysical order, alignment with truth gives us norms to live by, and this is then called freedom. Freedom as living by norms that are true, and truth grounded in the interiority of a subject. Nietzsche makes us see that foundational truth claims failed one after the other. 
first the death of God and then the death, death of man, now the death of the subject itself as foundation of all truth and knowledge will come. Metaphysical truth claims exhaust themselves. The search for an ever higher truth for everything will make this dominant culture destroy itself when truth itself becomes a question. The game and logic of metaphysics, whereby critique is possible, but always based on founding grounds like God, man, nature, etc., will necessarily give way to a critique of truth itself. The history of the dominant will to truth in Western and Westernized societies is the history of nihilism and of the end of nihilism. Well, people, I, now I need you to comment, ask questions, and of course, here we are, don't want, don't have the intent of talking about everything that Nietzsche or Foucault said about the history of truth or of nihilism. We make, make our choices and interpretations. And if you can, please support my work on Patreon. You have many benefits becoming a patron. And in this way, you can help me continue and make this work better. See you next week.